Hello and welcome to Engineer Simple. Today I'll be talking about parallel resistances and current divider. So if we have a number of resistances in parallel, say R1, R2, dot 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 Rn. We know the same voltage will develop across each resistance. So if the source voltage is V, then V is equal to V1 across basically resistance 1 equ uh, equivalent to V2 dot 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 Vn. And we know the current, the total current, will divide amongst each resistor. So I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus dot 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 plus In. So that's what we have in this little equation here. So total current is equal to I1, and really I1 from Ohm's law is nothing else but V1 divided by R1, and we know V1 is equal to V, so that's what I'm doing here, plus V over R2 plus dot 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 plus V over Rn. So we can factor out V, so V times 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus dot 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 plus 1 over Rn. So we can write this in another way. The total current is equal to voltage times 1 over the equivalent parallel resistance. Instead of writing equivalent parallel, I'm just writing P. So it's V times 1 over RP. So RP is just basically 1 over the entire quantity. So here's a little example to the right. So we have a circuit. The total current is 20 amps, and we have a resistance one is 2 ohms, resistance 2 is 3 ohms, uh, resistance 3 is 1 ohm, and resistance 4 is 4 ohms. And we have to and we need to calculate current through resistance 1, 2, 3, and 4, and also the voltage across each resistance. So we know from the previous slide, the total current is voltage divided by the equivalent parallel resistance. And we know the parallel resistance is 1 over the inverse of each resistance. So if we just plug in the numbers, we get, we get the equivalent parallel resistance is 0.48 ohms. Also, we know the voltage across each resistor is the same as the voltage across the source. So V is equal to V1 equal to V2 equal to V3 equal to V4. That's because the resistances are in parallel and we don't have anything in between. So we can write that, which is equal to the total current times the equivalent uh, resistance that this total current sees. So I times RP, so I is 20 amps, RP is 0.48, so it's 9.6 volts. So now we can just do Ohm's law. The current through resistance 1 is just V1 divided by R1, so V1 is 9.6 volts divided by 2 ohms, so it's 4.8. We do the same thing for 4 i2 and we do the same thing for i3 so basically just ohm's law i4 so the the mass better checks so if we sum up i1 through i4 we better get 20 amps so i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus i4 is 4.8 plus 3.2 plus 9.6 plus 2.4 so if you're doing math, the math is 20 amps. So that means everything checks. So we saw that voltage is equal to the total current times the equivalent resistance. So we know that 
current through resistance 1, for instance, is voltage divided by R1. So, and we also know, so I1 is equal to, we know V, this voltage here, is equal to total current times the parallel resistance. So if I rearrange, so I have RP at, in the numerator. If I should, if I bring it down to the denominator, basically I would do one over. So that's what I'm doing here, one over RP. If I take R1 to the numerator, then I have to do one over R1. So that's really, I'm just rearranging times I1. So if we have N resistances in parallel, so basically a bunch of resistances in parallel, we can write for each K resistance. So if we have, say, 10 resistances, R1, R2, R3, dot, 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 R10, K is any of these resistances, for instance, R2. So it's just the current through resistance K is equal to 1 over RK divided by 1 over the equivalent resistance of the, all the resistances in parallel times the total current. And from the previous slide, we know the parallel or the equivalent resistance is equal to 1 over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus dot 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 how many resistances we have. So that's called the current divider. If I go back. So basically, you see that basically the current just divides among amongst each resistance. So we can do an example. So if we use this same circuit, I1, which is current through resistance 1, is equal, equal to 1 over R1 divided by 1 over Rp times the total current. R1 is 2 ohms, 2 ohms, 1 over 2 divided by 1 over 0.48 times the total, total current, which is 20 amps, which is 4.8. So we got the same number as in the previous calculation. We do the same thing for I2. Same thing for I3, same thing for our I4. So we got the same results as in the previous slide. Thank you. That was it for manipulating or dealing with resistances in parallel and uh, current divider. So basically, in a time we talk about resistances, capacitances, or inductor inductances in parallel we talk about current divider. When we talk about com these components in series, we talk about voltage divider.